I probably don't look like it, but I am having a lot of fun. This is great. If you're ever in Southern California and have not visited Catalina Island, I highly encourage at least a day trip to come see this place. It's absolutely breathtaking. Good morning from Long Beach. It is Saturday, June 1st, 2024. It's around 7 a.m. and I slept like a baby last night. I've been sleeping in coach on the Amtrak for the last two nights. So last night was the first night I slept in a proper bed in a few nights and it was amazing. <laughs> it felt so good. Right now I'm walking to the Catalina Express ferry terminal because I'm taking the Catalina Express over to Catalina Island. When I was planning this part of my trip to Southern California, I knew I wanted to do things that I've not done before. I've been to the Los Angeles area several times and have done all the touristy things, you know, Hollywood Boulevard, Santa Monica Pier, uh, that kind of stuff. So I wanted to do something different. So I decided I was gonna stay in Long Beach. And uh, in doing so, it's right there at Catalina Island, just a short ferry ride away. And so that was sort of my top priority uh, on this particular day was to go visit Catalina Island. So that's where I'm headed right now. I made it here to the Catalina Express. My Airbnb was just a short 20 minute walk or so. Felt good to get the legs stretched. Uh, and here I am and the boat's right over here. So I'll be boarding shortly. All on board the Catalina Express and ready to go. Behind me is the Queen Mary. It's from the 1930s. And it's funny because it's so small compared to modern day cruise ships. I can't believe how small it is. I just got off the Catalina Express and I'm now docked in Avalon on Catalina Island. I don't really have any specific plans while here on Catalina Island. I do want to hike a trail or two, but I'm mainly just going to look around and see what's here. I know the casino is over there. It's not really a casino, uh, but it's an old uh, building with a movie theater in it. So I am going to visit that and mainly just going to look around and walk around and have fun. out on the pier right now here in Avalon and this is just a beautiful place uh, the weather is phenomenal it, it's a little bit chilly so I wouldn't want to get in the water but uh, anyhow this is just so beautiful so pretty
I'm walking up the road toward the Wrigley Memorial and uh, what a beautiful walk. You know, it's just on the road, but it's just golf carts going by. Every now and then you'll see like a work truck or something like that, but for the most part, it's just golf carts. And then this golf course right here, I swear, it looks like something to be in Hawaii. I made it onto the Hermit's Gulch Trail, and uh, interesting fact, I got up to the Wrigley Memorial, and in order to take the trail up through that way, you have to buy a pass to go into the Wrigley Memorial uh, to continue on the trail. But the lady working at the ticket office said as long as I had a permit, and I got my hiking permit about a month ago online, because I knew you had to do that. As long as you have a permit, you can go back down through the campground and take the trail that way. So that's what I'm doing. I don't want to fall in that. The lady at the Wrigley Memorial did say this was longer and steeper. She really wasn't lying. You know, I love hiking new trails. Um, back home, I tend to hike the same two or three trails all the time, just because they're so close to my house and just so convenient. But I like going someplace I've never been and getting on a trail that I've never hiked because you don't know where the end is unless you're following along on a map. But you know, we keep going and then it goes around to the curve then it goes up some more. And so you don't know where the end is or how far along you are or anything. Like right here, we came from down there. Now we're going that way. But oh, what a view. I probably don't look like it, but I am having a lot of fun. This is great. You know, honestly, when I came here to Catalina Island, this was really the thing that I wanted to do the most. I don't care about the little shops and restaurants and that kind of stuff. Um, I really wanted to get out here and do this trail. So we'll see if I can make it all the way up to the top to where I can see the ocean on both sides of the island. That's the goal. I don't know if it shows up in the video, but I'm definitely getting up into the clouds now. Also, as I've been hiking, I've noticed a bunch of scat on the trail. And at first I was thinking it was dog poop, but it's definitely not. So uh, this is it. If anyone knows what kind of scat that is, let me know. I don't know if it's those little squirrels or some other type of animal, but it's definitely not dog. Yeah, you can see the clouds right out there. I'm in it here, just the video probably doesn't show it very well. And of course my glasses are getting foggy as well. <laughs> I would say what of you, but nothing but clouds.
Well, I just passed another hiker who was coming down. He said um, that at the top you can't see anything. Um, and he said it's not supposed to clear off if it does clear off until, you know, probably three o'clock and my boat goes back to Long Beach about that time. So obviously I can't wait. So I'm gonna make the executive decision to stop here. No need to go up any further. You can't see anything anyways. So I'm gonna stop here and turn around and go back down to Avalon and look around town a little bit more uh, because you can see what the view would look like. You know, that's the joys of being a solo traveler is you can make your own decisions. You don't have to get an opinion from anyone else. At the spur of the moment, if you wanna do something or not do something, you could just change your mind like that. So I think I'm gonna to decide to stop right here, head back down and check out Avalon some more. I just can't get over the fact how good it feels out here. Having these clouds is just nice and I, I swear, I don't know what the temperature is. I'm gonna guess it's probably mid to low 60s. You know, one thing that drives me crazy is you're out here in nature doing these hikes and you know, everybody's all nice and polite and everything and then you get some people come by and they've got their speakers playing music loud. It's like, come on, nobody wants to hear your music. If you want to play music, fine, but put your headphones in. Nobody else wants to hear that. Am I the only one that thinks that way? I don't think I am. This is original Antonio's Pizza, and they have a little window there. So I got one slice of pepperoni. It looks really good. And it tastes really good. Hmm. $5.50, not too bad. Hmm. It's a spot. I just love walking along the water. It's so pretty. Tours of the casino are $20, so I decided to opt out and enjoy the view from the outside. So these kids have this little uh, fruit lemonade stand set up and are selling things. So I got some watermelon, some strawberry lemonade, and this cute little cookie, and uh, all for five dollars. Yeah, that's so cool. Those girls for the summer are just making some money by having a lemonade stand and cookie stand and fruit stand. So great idea. They said they live here on the island and they go to the one school that's here on the island and they said it has 400 students in the whole school. It's a K through 12 school. So that's just really cool. Mm. Next, I walked up stairs and hills through a residential area to the Catalina Chimes Tower. Quite a jaunt up these steps to get up to this memorial. Whew. 
nothing compared to what I did earlier. Holy cow, check out this house. Almost up here to the bells. This view of Avalon reminds me so much of the time that I was in Italy and the views from the Amalfi Coast. Just absolutely breathtaking. I just love this house. Everywhere you go on this island, you have amazing views. Wow. Another thing that's so great about here in Avalon is the smell. You get the mixture of all the different types of foods and it just goes around in the air and it just smells so good. It's almost like being at a county fair or something like that, except high quality food, yum. I've had an absolutely amazing day today here on Catalina Island. I've got to see and do everything that I wanted to do and I'm exhausted right now. The ferry just pulled in so I'm headed back to the ferry terminal to catch the ferry back to Long Beach. If you're ever in Southern California and have not visited Catalina Island, I highly encourage at least a day trip to come see this place. It's absolutely breathtaking. Catalina Express, leaving Avalon, headed back to Long Beach. The ferry ride between Long Beach and Avalon takes roughly one hour. What a great day at Catalina Island. 
made it back to Long Beach. And for the first time today, the sun's out. It's turned out to be a beautiful day. It was actually a really nice day on Catalina Island. Just the sun wasn't out, but it felt great. So right now, instead of walking back to my Airbnb, I'm just gonna walk around some of Long Beach and uh, just check it out a little bit. There's a lighthouse out here I wanna go to take a look at. I'm at Lighthouse Point in Long Beach, California. I've had an absolutely great day today at Catalina Island and then coming back here to Long Beach. What a beautiful evening. I couldn't ask for better weather or a more beautiful evening to end my Southern California part of my Great America Rail journey. Don't forget, if you've liked this video so far, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch more videos just like this. I love this little boardwalk that I'm walking on here in Long Beach. Just beautiful. This bridge that I'm walking across, the top of it is designed to look like a roller coaster. I saw it this morning when I was walking to the ferry terminal. Um, so I'm actually walking across it right now. It's pretty cool looking. It goes right across the main road and uh, has great views, plus it's aesthetically pleasing. I think for dinner this evening, I'm doing something pretty normal. I'm headed to Chipotle. Another successful stop at Chipotle. That was fantastic. So now I'm just gonna head back to my Airbnb, get packed up for the trip tomorrow. I'm taking the Coast Starlight from Los Angeles up to Eugene, Oregon. So it's one more overnight trip on the train. That's gonna be uh, segment three of my Great American Rail journey. Well, how things change. I was walking back to my Airbnb and I passed a Planet Fitness. <laughs> literally two blocks from my airbnb and uh i thought you know what i've got the black card so i came in and all i'm doing is just sitting in the massage chair i'm not working out not on the treadmill believe me i walked plenty today I'm not doing weights I'm just the massage chair i think after spending three nights in the train and traveling from one side of the country to the other and walking about probably 15 miles today i think i deserve it <laughs> Whew, feels so good I'm almost back to my Airbnb, so I think that'll do it for this video. I'm tired and ready for bed. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you join me on my next video as I begin leg three of my Great American Rail journey, where I take Amtrak's Coast Starlight from Los Angeles, California, overnight to Eugene, Oregon. Thanks for watching.